Rest in peace, blow up pool. It was nice knowing you. probably been wondering where the heck I've been. I've been here, I just haven't vlogged in like two weeks. There's no real reason for that, I've just been kind of playing catch up on life. Man, that first week going back to the restaurant just kind of, uh, I don't know, stressed me out a little bit, I guess. Not that it stressed me out too much, but just working the late hours and stuff and kind of readjusting. You know, getting back in the groove of things. Mostly it's just kind of been like work, babies, work, babies, work, babies. And all of that, plus squeezing in time with Jenny and keeping myself sane. And I just, it's been kind of a cluster and haven't really had time to throw vlogging in there. Not that I'm not committed. Like I said, just readjusting myself. I'm ready to get back in the groove of things though. So it's Sunday. I'm going to pick up where I left off and start vlogging daily again. Or maybe not daily, but you know, as much as I can. I think one of the most frustrating things is trying to make things seem more interesting than they really are. So I think I'm gonna take a different route on that aspect and not really focus on making things more interesting, just kind of compiling my day as it is. Maybe planning my days out a little more in advance. I don't know, let me know what you think. Tonight's gonna be fun though. My parents are gonna come over for about four or five hours and watch the boys and Ginny and I are gonna have a date night because we have not done that in forever. We're gonna eat sushi. Ginny and I both love sushi. But while she was pregnant, she wasn't able to eat it the entire time. Cause you know, raw fish and pregnant chicks just don't go good together. And then we're gonna go to the movies because we haven't done that in forever. And there's a movie out right now that I've been wanting to see for a little while, ever since I heard about it. I won't say what it is just yet, but I'll definitely be giving my review at the end of the night. So I'm sitting on this log outside in my backyard and I just noticed this seashell. Huh, how about that? Lived here for six months and I've never even noticed it. I'm not sure if the pool is entirely destroyed. I know they make those kits that you can like patch up inner tubes with, so I might just have to get one of those. But let me explain what happened. So we had this crazy storm. It was Wednesday or Thursday night. It wasn't even night. It was during the day at like noon. It came out of nowhere. It looked like it was pitch black outside. And then rain just started pouring down and it was like 70 or 80 mile per hour winds. And no joke, like one hour before all this had happened, I emptied out all the nasty water from the pool. And then when the storm hit, I thought about it and looked outside, sure enough, it was up against my neighbor's fence over here, just poked up against the little metal things. And yeah, it pretty much aired out after that, but shouldn't be too hard to fix. Look at all these twigs though, man. All these sticks were just falling out of these trees. It was crazy. Our electricity went out at the restaurant too, so I did not work Tuesday. Actually, I didn't work Tuesday because our AC broke. We got the AC fixed, but then the electricity went out on Brookside, and we were the only restaurant with electricity, but no AC, so we had to work in the heat. That sucked. Gotcha. So I'm pretty sure everybody in the entire world knows about Pokemon Go by now. This game is just like taking over everything. It's pretty cool, I've been playing it a little bit. I'm not like a Pokemon fan or anything. I never really got into it when it first came out, but it's pretty fun, I do enjoy it. I like the whole geography aspect, traveling around and interacting with people and all that good stuff so funny because I work in this area of Tulsa called Brookside, which is mostly like bars and restaurants, places that you mostly see adults. This whole past week, everybody walking by the restaurant is just like a bunch of youngsters on their phones. I even saw a guy yesterday with two cell phones, two cell phones in his hand, and he was playing Pokemon Go on both of them. Now that is some hardcore commitment. 
Normally I'm kind of bothered when trends get crazy and out of control and everybody's talking about it and controversy is involved, but I think the most annoying part about Pokemon Go is all the people getting mad at the people playing it. Some of the places on Brookside like, don't have the Pokestops there anymore. People were hanging out there too much so they had them removed. <sighs> Got it! Oh yeah, look what we got. Baby Bouncer. <laughs> These little guys are gonna be bouncing before no time. That is so cool. Nice. Thank you guys. Oh yeah, look at that. Sushi has arrived. You good? Zesty. Zesty. Really? Like fresh, like flavor fresh. Not like fresh. Flavor fresh. <laughs> so Jenny and I are at the sushi restaurant and we have a baby on this side and a baby on this side. We miss our babies. <laughs> to top it off, we now have a baby right next to us. Time to see what the portion cookies say. What's yours say? If honesty is the best policy, then by default, dishonesty is the second best policy. Mine says, two wrongs don't make a right, but three lefts do. That's actually pretty funny. Hmm. Pretty sure that the fortune on my fortune cookie is the title of a Reliant K album. It's like three lefts don't make a right, but three do. I don't freaking know. I think the name of the album is Two Lefts Don't Make a Right, But Three Do. That's what it is. Army man. Uh, my kill is restarting right now. She can help you after you. Okay, cool. Thank you. Army man. Okay. I appreciate it.